You did not. Josh reckoned he voted. He's only 17. First letter tonight is right on that topic. Bring in electronic voting. We'll engage the whole electorate. Feel more secure and certain about the results. I don't know. I don't know. I like the old traditional method where you go and line up and pencil tick. Second letter tonight. I can't believe he's done this to me and now it looks like she's dumped me to be with him. The girl's gone from one brother to another brother. Uh, what do you reckon of her? And the last letter tonight. The people are cold towards one another. Everybody, it seems... Uh, has a, an alternative reason for associating with you. It's stressful and not too many people are helpful. Sounds a bit like Sweet and Sour here, the crew. But it's actually some bloke who's shifted city. Not really. They're all wonderful. He's just stealing my notes. The whole panel will be here in about 10 seconds. Don't go away. We'll see you then. Bye for now. Sweet and Sour. You didn't take my coffee, though. I've still got my coffee in, please. They're very nice. Got a problem, big or small? Would a miracle be nice? Our monthly crew is back, churning out advice. You might even laugh a bit in the following half hour. Park your backside on the couch, cause baby, it's time for Sweet and Sour. Right it's time for Sweet and Sour. It's time for Sweet and Sour. It's time for Sweet and Sour. Some of the panel know the words. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Sweet and Sour. Gary Mitchell with you for the next fun-filled half hour. Who's on the panel tonight? First up, one of your favourites. Hello, Lewis. Good evening. Evening, everyone. Evening, evening, evening. Looking terrific in green. Where have you been for the last two months, three months? Uh, Any holidays just, anywhere? Well, I had a five weeks off with the little fella, and all he wanted to do was sit on the couch and uh, play with the electronic bollocks. So I had to get him off the couch, outdoors, biking. How old boy. is he now? He's nine now. Wow. I know. You've got a, a little man. Old. Little man, yeah. Oh, wow. No, Does he watch this show? Uh, only when I make him watch it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no, no, dad, you don't want to do that. No, no, Good on you, mate. Welcome like. back. Yeah. Hello, Kimba. Hello. It's been a while, mate. Where have you been? Where have I been? Um, I had a little holiday in there. Where did you go? I went to Lombok in Bali and uh, also H went already. to KL. Oh, did you? You yeah. had more than one holiday, or was that one holiday no, where you all, did both? Well, it seems silly to come home and not go through yeah. KL on the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the show going? Fantastic. I know it's going fantastic. You it guys is. have a lot of fun on that, don't you? It is going very, very well. I oh, know. How are the boys? Yeah, they're good. They're yeah. good. They're like brothers still. Still? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't change. No, 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 no. Welcome back, mate. Good Thank to have you. you. Our resident artist. Hello, Alex. Hello, Gary. All right, there's one right in front of yes. us. Can we have a look at that one first? This... Have a look at how good this is. Can we get a close-up of that? No, you don't need to. It looks good from there. James Rain, I recognise him. How long did it take you to do that? We're not allowed to ask that. Right, there's enough. Hang of that. on, I just have a Keep little session Keep doing that. You'll here. have to write us a letter. Man. Right. Oh, there's oh there's hang enough. on. Yeah, this is James Rain singing. Um, Doesn't matter what he's singing. All of Rome, does it? and I took a is photo. That, yeah, he's, singing he's, he's actually in singing, it? and I just took a photo. Oh, look, it's still wet. Look, uh oh. Oh, it is still um, wet. I'm actually donating this to the Leukemia Foundation because James is an ambassador for that cause. Because you know that. A How very, good are you? Very good friend of his. Um, you have to get him to sign it, though. Yeah, he's going to sign it. He's um, coming back to do the. the Tour of our life, or something. Oh, I should know that, shouldn't I? Sorry, James. Um, in May uh, the twelfth at the concert hall. So this Good will be you. signed by James, and we're going to auction it off. So I'll put it on my website. I'll also have it on my Facebook page, and I'll put it on James Rain's um, official fan site as well. well so done. if anyone wants to help the cause, bid. Bid, put bid, a bid, bid in for it. Harry, are you going to make a bid? Yeah, open bid with five hundred dollars. Why not? Oh, there you go. Oh, Fantastic. Go. Let's get the ball. Nice he is a nice that. guy. <laughs> Hang on, Harry, give us Easy. the lowdown. Easy. Where are we? Well, the housing market's strong. The first home buyers market's very good. Don't think we're going to see an interest rate drop again. In, That's it. Where are we in uh, March, April? Well, we might see one in May. Oh, you th what a drop yep. in May. We might see another drop. We're in still going to go that way? Yep, I think so. Wow. There's still another 0.25 in the market, I think. Really? The rates are good, sub 5% out there if you want to fix two years. Ooh, good to hear. You Very ready good. to do some work? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, here we go. First letter. Hello, panel. I'm 22. My friends say I'm a political animal. I love politics. It excites me. And I really enjoy being a significant part of the progress of my nation. But it's time the election system got into the 21st century. None of my non-politically inclined friends have even bothered to enrol to vote. And for one reason or another, they just don't care. Well, I care, and I think if all of us could vote by our computer at home, Australia might go a long way to getting everyone engaged in the process. It's a far more secure way of doing it. 
than the old way of turning up, voting by pencil, and then have some dudes hours later count it, recount it, and potentially manipulate it. I just don't trust this old system which is used in all the third world dictatorships because it's the easiest way to cheat. Bring in electronic voting, we'll engage the whole electorate, feel more secure and certain about the results, and all achieved without leaving my laptop. It just makes sense. Bring it on. Caitlin of Mount Pleasant in WA. Lewis, do you like that suggestion? Voting by your computer at home? Well, it's inevitable. It's all going that way, isn't it? It's all going iPad and... Can I say iPad? Of course you can. Of course you can. Apple, come on, send me some skier. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Apple. It's, it's all going that way, but I don't think she's going to... She'll probably see it in her lifetime. But hang on, is she really going to engage us? She's talking about the process. Don't you get engaged in politics by the issues rather than the process well, of how if she, you vote. Well, if she loved it, then, you know, going down the old polling booth and seeing those nobbies out the front with the leaflets, like, I've already made me... <laughs> you know what I mean? I know who I'm voting for. No, nothing you're going to say on the way in is going to you make know, me But, there is a valid statistic there that lots of... Lots of people haven't made their mind up oh, until they actually... Until they, oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. It's not a significant proportion. It's mm. like it's 6%, but that's huge in any election mm -hmm. to determine one way or the other. Well, it's good that uh, the young are into politics. Do you trust an electronic voting system? I, I trust it as much as I trust uh, the manual. It, it, it's both You're fraudulent. neutral. It's both fraudulent. Fraudulent. And, uh, I mean, it's in place in other countries. It is in place in other and, countries. And anything can be rotted. Kimba, how do you like voting? Oh, look, I, I don't like voting. I think, <laughs> thank goodness for you, Caitlin, you political animal, because <laughs> I don't really care for Australian politics. So oh. I'm happy to vote online truth. because, you know, I, I think that if people aren't passionate... Here's the thing. My housemate's just come back from overseas and she didn't know who to vote for. She's been away for seven years and she went online to get the information and the policies of each party were not easy to find. Really? So They weren't easy no. to find And online. so if you were to force it online, maybe they would be forced to kind of lift their act. I think that the saddest part about not going to the school is that you don't feed the PNC in their bake sale. <laughs> you know, Very it helps out the school, it gets them an air conditioning system over summer <laughs> and you get a lamington. But other than that, do it online. Do it Why online. Not? Alex, do you like the old pencil or do you want to I go? Like, I like the old pencil. I think that's a lot of crap. What's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin. You Caitlin sound like WA. an idiot. Why? God. Well, but, uh, but all she's doing is reflecting what young no, people but do. Look, she's as 22. If, as if any everyone's going to go on the computer and vote. But sooner or later I they mean, will. I mean, you know what's wrong with In this? In 50 years' you know time, what? they I, all will. Like, you know what's wrong with this? What? <laughs> what? No, the thing is, how are they going to make it legitimate? How are they going to legitimise that that person's voting? Because I yeah, we'll give you a code number. Hang on, they'll, 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 they did not even check my ID when I well, went when in you to vote. In. Well, they, they just they go watch your name. Either. You see, yeah. the young people don't trust the pencil system, and the older people don't necessarily trust the electronic system. Oh well, look, system. I'm an old person, so I like the well, old. Well, me way too. But and sooner or later, we're all going to be gone. Yeah, well then I don't care. Yeah, this is politics, and you know what I think about politics, Gary. You still had something to say, didn't you? Yeah, well, I had to. I <laughs> Come had on, to. Harry. Give us something valid. Come on, Has. I like, I like the sausage sizzle. I like the volunteers, the people that stand there in the cold and the rain are handing out. they volunteers? They oh, are volunteers. Are, they are you are, sure? They are volunteers. Yeah, they yes, are not volunteers. They're, there. they're all volunteers. Most of them are volunteers. Most of them, most of, pick up? Most of them are volunteers and they're there and it's the sausage sizzle. There's, there's the humans getting together and it's called interacting. Right. Once you take away and bring in the electronics, yeah. What happens is like you were saying with your son, all of a sudden you lose all the personality of politics. There you go. You can quite I, have, I have a trust That's issue true. in electronic voting because yeah, absolutely. I have faith in the system that we have now and I'm not too sure that an electronic system, you know, one person can sit back there and manipulate it. Yeah. There was an oh, article. No, there, will be a there will be a prelude to electronic voting where you get a codes number and you put your code number in and then you go British, British, British. But, but, but hackers hack now. Do they, you know, Julius Oh, well then let's not them. online shop. Let's not do <laughs> anything. No, no, but shopping is another thing. <laughs> let's not pay our vote, bills online, you know. But my, but my vote's another thing entirely. You oh, know, no, we're the fate not. of your nation. It's no more valuable than my bank details. Yeah, I can give you that. Who, who, who well, counted can, the votes on Saturday? Oh, scrutineers did. From That's there. how it happens. You, you have people trust standing trust there going worthy. one, two, trust three, four. people. Yeah. Are we still talking about this? Come on, let's move yeah. on. <laughs> when we come back, <laughs> we'll be talking about 
Should you be going out with your brother's ex or your sibling's ex <laughs> or anyone related to you or your mates, etc. When we come back, don't go away. See you soon. Yes, we're still talking about me. <laughs> 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 Not at all. Welcome back to Sweet and Sour. You have to stop now, Al. <laughs> We're back on. If you'd like to send us a letter, send it to the address that's about to appear on screen, which is letters at sweetandsour.net.au. And for every letter that does land here, we're going to send you to the movies, courtesy of the very gorgeous Natalie Cameron and NRC Communications. And there it is. I uh, Give it a year is the movie that we're sending you to. And Kimber's already seen it. I have. I have. And you were just telling us how much you loved it. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, it is. Stephen Merchant is Ooh. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Rose Byrne. Oh, um, oh, great stuff. It's good. It's, it's, it's good. A laugh a minute. And <laughs> if you'd also like to give us a big tick on Facebook, we'd love it. And the address, which is also going to be flashed up, there it is, facebook.com slash sweet and sour. And we also have a website now as well, which is sweetandsour.net.au. So hop on give us a liking. Thanks very much. Here we go. Letter number two. I'm really all over the place, Mitch and Panel. My younger brother, he's 24 and I'm 18. He's younger than me. Sorry, he's 24 and 18 months younger than me. Is now going out with my ex-girlfriend. It really hurts to be totally honest. I want to punch my brother and I want to just claw her eyes out. We were going out for two years and she left me broken hearted five months ago. My brother called me last week just to tell me his happy news. When I went nuts over the phone, he just said that there wasn't anything anyone could do now and no one chooses who they fall in love with. It just happens some, sometimes, he said. It makes me so angry. I can't believe he's done this to me and now it looks like she's dumped me to be with him. But they just didn't say anything until now. How do I get over this? What do I do? I'll be completely gutted if they move in together or get married or anything like that. And I just can't stop thinking about it. What do I do here? Please. Comes to us from Rad of Henley Beach in South Australia. OK, Kimber. Some soft advice for a poor old Rad of Henley Beach. He's suffering there. Why does it have to be soft? Oh, look. OK, here's you're right. <laughs> Harsh realities of life. Here here's it comes, something Red. for you. If someone breaks your heart, punch them in the face and go get ice cream. You're going to be OK. I think that if, if it's real, then let them see it out and power to them. You're not meant to be with her anyway. And if it's not real, let them embarrass themselves at family gatherings because she is going to feel like a total hammer when Auntie Julie comes over and thinks that she's still your girlfriend and says something stupid. You know, I just yeah. think if, you're gonna, if they're going to behave that way, let them go out, enjoy yourself, have a good time and leave them be. Do you know what? I, I think what you're going through now is fantastic because it's a terrific learning experience. I figure everyone should have a broken heart at some point in time because you'll be able to advise your kids, you'll know what life's really all about and you'll recognise the real thing when it comes along. I don't know. Don't oh, that's sweet. But it's true. It just, it, it just sucks that, you know, he's not only suffering the broken heart but it's, it's in his face, you know, it's like normal. they're actually doing it around. Him. Have they broken the rule though? You don't go out with someone else's Oh, they ex. have. But I think the way you can overcome that maybe is you just maybe go to your brother. He should go to your brother and say, You're an you know what I loved about her was when she always bought me all those oh. things or <laughs> how she always did that special little sexual something and make your brother feel bad because she doesn't actually do it to him. You sound like you've done this before. I don't know. A little bit Fixing of expertise coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, yes. what's happening here, mate? Uh, the, the, the. It's just life, isn't it? Eh? It is life. I mean, I can remember lusting after my, like when I was a little kid, my brother used to come over with his girlfriends and I'm like, <laughs> 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 and I would have jumped in there in a heartbeat. Yeah, I was only nine, but anyway. <laughs> so yeah, is the poor, poor love, what's his name? Rad. 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 You'll get over it, mate, you will. You'll get stronger and you'll find another What do you lady. do to get over it? What do you do? To what get... do you do? Well, uh, sorbeline tissues, a bit of <laughs> <laughs> And time. <laughs> Time, time's a great healer. Time, time, well, you will, you get over it. And um, if it's meant to be, then maybe she'll drop yeah, the yeah. brother and go back to you. Or she can do a bit of train, family training. Laughing. Oh, you never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's focusing on the negative. He is, he is. But he's in pain, man. And when you're in he's pain, you know. Back there, rather than when you're in pain, it hurts. But it will, it will heal. Very true. You're the only. 
person who can heal yourself. Harry! No, oh, Red, just oh, move on, son. Just move <laughs> on. on. Move on. I mean, your, your brother's uh, going out with an ex-girlfriend. That's what you've got to start to yeah. realise. She is you the ex-girlfriend. That's it. It's all finished. It's all over. Move on. Grab yourself a new girlfriend. There's plenty out there in the ocean. And uh, just move on with it. We, we... You're, you're pining over something that's the past. Speak, you know, we've got an experienced heartbreaker next to me here. Alex, she'll tell you what to do. She'll tell you what to do. Alex, fire away. No? Uh, take up painting. Me? Maybe you don't uh, want take, to touch this one. Take up painting. No, look, oh, she sounds smart to me because she's gone for a younger man for a start. You know, you, you're past your, your age in a minute. But um, I was thinking it sounds a little bit like Bold and the Beautiful. You know how Brooke was with er, er, Ridge and then she was with Thorn and then she was with Eric and then she was with James and then, uh, you know, I think... Are you still watching this show? No, but you can watch it and pick <laughs> it up. I can see why. <laughs> but um, in the beginning I did. I remember when um, Th uh, Ridge was on and my mum, I came home from school and mum goes, Oh, Jesus, what a beautiful fish. Because he was called Snapper. <laughs> so, oh, no, no, Thor, a ridge was Snapper. That's young and the restless. That's it, yeah. No, but what anyway, no, I've got advice for you, Rad. What you need to do is get yourself looking really fit, really hot. That's it. And then, you know, and then you'll notice women will start looking at you more. And so then just forget about her. If she's got a left you and gone for your brother, then she's not worth it. Don't make her the focus. Make every other woman that's available yeah, your focus. Yeah, there's plenty of women. Me, Where are you and Henley? Oh, he's not in Perth. He should come to Perth. Blip. There's Blip. a lot of women here. Oh, a lot of beautiful women. Yeah, there's no men. <laughs> Perth, Perth is fantastic for its women. Look at these two. Fantastic. No, no men, no, no men. Shut no up. men. Oh, there's a few. Just a few. Gonna come All the good ones are taken, however, uh, aren't yeah. they? Well, most of them. <laughs> On the weekend. Oh, when, we, when we come back, we're going to be talking about the Mardi Gras. All the ones who aren't taken are gone to Sydney. Don't go away. We'll be <laughs> right back. I'm free. Clean. <laughs> You can vote sweet and sour number one because Gary Mitchell needs the money. And there's Madonna and Child from Alex and we're going straight into the next letter. She's pretty good. And that's there Marco Pierre White. Can they see that? They can. Yeah. Here we go. All right. We'll show them at the end as well. Hello there, Sweet and Sour. Can someone please tell me what the message of the Mardi Gras is, please? I moved to Sydney last month from Queensland. I was looking forward to everything about Sydney culture and I've got to say, I'm finding it a horrible experience so far. The people are cold towards one another. Everyone, it seems, has an alternative reason for associating with you. It's stressful and not too many people are helpful, even the ones employed to help you. Well, I thought I was just associating with the wrong group, so I went to see the Mardi Gras. It was colourful, it was loud, it was happening and all that, but it was just utterly revolting overall. I'm no morals campaigner and each to his own, but I didn't understand what the point to the whole exercise was meant to be. Simulated sex, ugly drag queens, breasts on motorbikes, naked body parts interspersed everywhere. But for what? Could someone please explain how this helps the gay and lesbian community? How is any of this going to integrate the homosexual community into, ev into the everyday community? If anything, I think the exercise denigrates the gay and lesbian community. If any of the above activities were orchestrated by the heterosexual community, we would be considered social deviants. Please explain, if you can, Georgia K of St Ives in New South Wales. Harry, this bird's missing the point to the Mardi Gras, or am I wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Georgia, it's all about celebrating your individuality, being who you want to be on that night. Doing whatever you want to do. You want to get dressed up as a drag queen? Great. You don't want to get dressed up as a drag queen? Don't get dressed up as a drag queen. If you don't want to be there and having fun, heterosexuals wouldn't have as much fun. But it's, they're, they're involved in this. Heterosexuals, they are. All, they, they are. They are, but go, it's just... Go to this parade and are in this parade as well. But it is about bringing it together. So I understand. I might be wrong. It is, but that's why it's called the gay Mardi Gras. Let them have, let them have the celebration that they want to have. That's it. Don't, don't get in agree. there in judgement. Oh. Look, Lewis has been to heaps of them, haven't you? I don't think oh. they're either, Harry. Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, hang on. Alex doesn't agree. <laughs> no, look, I, I, Georgia, I understand with you, uh, your letter, 100%, I agree, because, you know, I've got some friends, I've got quite a few gay friends, and the majority of them are decent, hard-working individuals, and they want to make their business work, and they're very successful at what they do. Then you get the ones that are the little screaming queens, and they run around, and they make a lot of noise, and they dress up, and they're idiots, and they're 
they're the ones that make it bad for the gay community. Have because you never dressed up? You, you're dressed up now. You put, you do your hair and your makeup and you go out and you dance and you have yeah, a good time. Yeah, but I don't How run around with my tits you... hanging out or my cock hanging out if I was a guy. Well, hang on, hang on. Different strokes know, for different that folks. That doesn't mean that you don't. Well, I don't have like that either. But well, the, the thing is, the thing is, <laughs> they're saying, <laughs> okay, look, I'm, this is my my segment where I talk. Oh. <laughs> and I don't butt only, in. Only if you now, give me the opportunity. No. Did you say you don't butt in? You don't get the opportunity. All right, I won't say any more then. Come on out. All right. No, but the thing is, you know, I can understand what she's saying because it does it does look disgusting some of the times. You know, they're they're grinding and they're they're showing their personal body parts, and it's you know you want people to go and enjoy it, but then it gets a little bit too sordid, and I don't like that. I like having fun, but, but as, I don't like it when it gets says, sordid like that. And woman it's says, each giving to his own. own. Don't go. Yeah, but That's why does it, it have go. to be publicity like public like that? They don't have to it's show, cover up and do it. Don't show all your. It's a party. I don't get it. They're no, allowed I don't to. like it. Yeah, they're allowed to. Oh, no, I don't necessarily like it. Yeah, but it's either, wrong. and it's in your face. And, That's not. Yeah. And I don't go, subject. but. I don't begrudge them actually doing it and celebrating, and it's not all it. the gays, it's everybody together. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm of a different age group, so I'm a bit of a wowser, but, you know, I, I, I understand I other people I thought you in the game, Mardi Gras. Have, it was you, wasn't it? I've never been. Never mind. I'd like to actually go and have a look, but I've never realised it's It it's would like be fun this. to Kim, look at it. Have you been to a Mardi Gras? No, I haven't. I Would haven't. you be interested to go and see it? Yeah. yeah what about, have you been to see the gay, the Pride March in Perth? Yes. And is that like this? Oh, it, it's not to the extent of Mardi Gras. It's not as it's not as big mm. as Sydney Mardi Gras. But I mean, I think, firstly, Georgia, um, you take a small cross section of people in Sydney and then judge everybody on it, um, which is not accurate. And then, oh, what do you know? You go to Mardi Gras and drum roll, you're judging everyone on it. Like, what a surprise! I think that you are the issue here. Mm, um, agreed. And you know, you don't like Sydney people. You don't like Mardi Gras. You don't like boobs. You don't like simulated sex. And I just don't just trust. Like anything. I don't trust anybody who doesn't enjoy getting nude and oiling up in public. <laughs> <laughs> and. If, you know what, if they had a hetero Mardi Gras, I would get involved, but let's face it, drag queens have better legs. Oh, and well. they look good. I just, like, <laughs> I'm never gonna be the hall monitor or the fun police for anybody else, and I don't think that you should be either, Georgia. Exactly. Lewis Last word from yeah, Lewis. Have, Lewis. Have you been? Got great have you been to the Mardi Gras? I, I have. And? And it was, a, it was a great laugh, but I, I do agree with the ugly drag queens. If you're gonna dress up in drag, then fuck me drunk. Can you make yourself look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. Oh, that's, yeah, that's my only problem. It's uh, carnival feeling, express yourself. But yeah, ugly drag queens. Have you ever been to Thailand? You're not much over there, man. Mm. And cheap, too. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Well, friend, friend Lovely. All right, did we like this letter to give away the pair of limited no. edition no. sunnies? No. We did it. We did it. See you later. It was just too prudish. OK, which letter did we like, Kimba? We're all right, number two the least. Number two. Yeah. Number two. I mean, we hate number two, number two the least. We hate number two the least. And that's from Rad of Henley Beach in South Australia. Harry? Harry <laughs> wants to show Alex's artwork. Number two. No, number, so two. So number two. Number two. For, the, for the limited finished. edition sunnies, which one do you like? Red? Number two, Red. Number Feel two, sorry Alex? Number two. I recognise that. That's Jesus. Mm, very good. Did yeah, you take that from anything? Or that's, is that... a, that's a statue and it was in a, a book. So I took a photo in the book and then I'm trying to make it look real so it's not finished. You're very, Never very, very, very talented. Thank you, Gary. Um, coming out to Red. Red of Henley Beach in South Australia, a pair of limited edition sunnies courtesy of... Alon Treves and Aussie Opticals. We've got to go. Lewis, Already. it's been terrific to have you back. Well, anytime, anytime. Fantastic, mate. We'll, we'll do it again soon. Kimba, yeah. you are always a delight to have on the show. Thank I you, love. I don't know if we'd call it that. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Terrific. We'll see you again soon. Al, now's your opportunity. Show another one. You're putting oh. them down. Madonna and <laughs> Child. Oh, no, you've seen right. more. Anyway, yeah. Good luck so, with the auction. When yeah. is it? You don't know. Uh, well, James will be in town on the 12th of May, so I'll get it signed then. Okay. And uh, so it won't be going before then. So. Yeah. Harry, you're going to be back with some I'm just following films. her instructions. I'm terrified of the woman. I'm just showing <laughs> you these paintings. <laughs> Very nice. Are they finished yet? No, no. no I, they're the not. woman's been um, made. I've, I've done her the same as him, but I have to finish it. It's okay. just. I start other ones. All right, but we'll bring it back when you finish. Oh, she's nicer right. than hers. We've got to go. Means so you yeah. continue to check out. Yeah, we'll <laughs> Thank all of our wonderful <laughs> panellists. Thank it's our it. terrific crew, Bye. and thanks for having us at Bye. Home Tonight Australia. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Bye -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.